Hey, Math 8, we are starting Unit 8 Scientific Notation, and we're talking about powers of 10. You can see the video is not made because I'm in it right now in my old school Nintendo shirt. All right, so let's, let's go. We got, um, we got multiplication and division with powers of 10, approximating with power of 10, and then some geometry review. So we want to know uh, how many times as large is 6 times 10 to the 8th as 2 times 10 to the 3rd. These things are called scientific notation, and they are ways that we write really big numbers. Um, this is a really big number here, eight zeros. That's six times 10 to the eighth. That's six with eight zeros. So that's 600 million. This is a big number. You know. So how many times as large is it? That's a division problem there. So let's write that on top and let's write two times 10 to the third on the bottom. So when we do division with scientific notation, we are going to divide uh, six divided by two is three. But over here, we're going to subtract because remember the exponent rules tell us to do so. So it's eight minus three is five. So it's gonna be three times 10 to the fifth. All right, so that is division. And then how about multiplication? So for multiplication, we're just gonna do, we're gonna follow the exponent rules again. And uh, also with the whole numbers, we'll multiply. So that's negative 18, nine times negative two. And then with the exponents, we're gonna add. So what is nine plus negative three? That's six. So it's going to be negative 18 times 10 to the 6, which I see right here. Not too bad, especially after systems of equations. It's, it's easier, right? Uh oh, this one no one got right. Peggy the pig built a house of sticks. The stick house can withstand a wind speed of 47 kilometers per hour. Choose the best approximate approximation of the highest wind speed that Peggy's stick house can withstand. Ah, okay, so we just need to know what this is. So 47 is about 50, right? We're rounding it. So which one of these is 50? So five times 10 to the first is 50. That is the answer. Because five times 10 to the second would be 500. So the exponent tells you how many zeros are in the number. So again, this one is about 5,000. So we want three zeros right there. And then uh, in terms of the wind speed, how many times as strong is a steel house? Okay, so the steel house is 5,000 and uh, Stick house is 50. So for this one, we want to do 5,000 divided by 50. And so 500 divided by 5, whatever that is. Those 500 divided by 5 is 100. Yes, yeah, 100 feet. Okay. So that's that. So go ahead and just round your number and then. That's your one spot, and then however many zeros there are. So this would be, this would round down to four, and then there'd be three, six, nine, 12 zeros. But this one is talking about dividing. So then this one would be 22 with uh, three, six, nine zeros. So we we're gonna take the four, times 10 to the 12th, we're going to divide it by 22 times 10 to the 9th. So then um, we, can, we can figure that out. So we divide the 4 by 22. We subtract these 12 minus 9 is 3. 
and then four over 22 is going to be about uh, it's like uh, two over 11, right? Was two divided by 11. And on my calculator, 0.18. Okay. So zero point, oh. 0 0.18. But if we made it 1.8 times 10 to the second, uh, would that be the same? Yeah, that would be the same. And that is approximately two times 10 to the second. So this one is a little bit tricky, but I think the answer is B, two times 10 to the second. So work your way through it and uh, put those questions in the organizer when you get stuck. The last one here, is a review of the Pythagorean theorem, which we know is so important. And so I want you to actually go back to the organizer, type in Pythagorean theorem and look at what you uh, put. I'll just remind you it's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. c squared is the hypotenuse. You got draw an arrow to that and that's c. Substitute them in, take the square root of both sides when you get to that point. Of, Divide by two and see if you remember everything. All right. Bye, guys. Have fun.